I wonder if you've ever seen one of these or if you know what it is. You can tell it's very small, but you might not realize what a powerful impact it can have and the difference it makes and the loss if it's not in its proper place doing its job. For several years, the electric side mirrors on my car worked just fine. And then one day I tried the control to adjust for traffic and I realized that neither the left side nor the right would operate. Well, I traced it down and found out there was a mini fuse down near the passenger's seat toward the front. I could open that compartment, pull the fuse out and replace it. In fact, you can see if you look very closely that in between these two prongs, there's a gap where there was once a tiny wire that could handle only two amps of electricity. And once that was exceeded, the wire broke, the fuse blew, and I couldn't see where I had been. The Bible is full of this truth that so many times it's the little things that build up inch by inch, step by step, piece by piece, so that when something big happens, it's not just the result of one single event or decision or choice, but rather this accumulation that is incremental and develops over an extended period. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 7 through 9, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows makes you think of tiny seeds that he will also reap. The one who sows to the flesh from the flesh will reap corruption, but the one who sows to the spirit from the spirit will reap life. So then let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due time we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Galatians 6, 7-7. Through nine. I've prepared a video called The Tipping Point that develops this principle that this and this and this developing over time can then result in something very good or something very bad. And sometimes it's the 1% change, the 2%, the 3% that extends over time that leads to what appears to be a sudden outcome but actually it's the result of this process. You see, for a long time, this fuse was doing its job. And you wonder if over time, that little wire in between the two prongs became, shall we say, weary, under stress, carrying all that load every time I adjusted the mirrors. And then there was a tipping point. There was one time that I must have hit that switch and it blew. I'd like to hear from you and send you a link to that video lesson on the tipping point. You may email me solid.faith at outlook.com, solid.faith at outlook.com, and indicate that you'd like to have a link to the video on the tipping point.